Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Vulcanoise, where we try to uh, survive on a volcano while deactivating it and fighting the enemy cog robot things. Now, uh, today we are still in area two, and we are trying to get the technology to break into the final area, area three, so we could deactivate presumably Lavasaurus three and the center of the volcano. But uh, in order to do that, we have to go to these three triangles and gather some of this tech here. Now, if you are just tuning in for the first time and want to catch up, uh, be sure to check out the earlier episodes. Oh, this place is just littered with people, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to go on down to, I think we're heading to the blue triangle right now. We're going to get the production tech and then we'll head over and get some of the other tech. It looks like we got blue and green enemies. Blue are the hardest that I think we've encountered so far. Green are kind of like the medium enemies. All right, here we go. Oh boy, oh I got flanked. I got flanked. Alright. Uh oh whoa, where did you come from? Oh boy, this is oh boy, where did all these guys go? Alright, we're we're retreating. We're retreating. We're retreating. Ah Alright, health. Oh, this takes too long. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we just barely survived that. Alright, there's one. Oh, these guys are so accurate. Alright, you know what? Go into uh go into full on armor piercing ammo here. Man, I don't think you can even dodge them. Like, by strafing back and forth, it really seems like you're just unable to dodge these guys. Oh, I should have cleared my inventory first. I did not think about that. All right, you know what? Uh, I'm going to have to. Let's go back. Let's uh, deposit our inventory, and then we'll get this research tech. Well, that was a close call for the beginning of the episode, wasn't it? <laughs> Starting off right in the middle of it. Turret module. Placement side. Yeah, so the turrets are only placeable on the side right now. I don't know if there's like a different turret, like turret number two, that maybe can go on the top so you can get like a 360 view. So that's what we're uh, that's what we're managing right now. All right, so let's go ahead and deposit a bunch of this useless stuff. Not useless, but a bunch of stuff we don't need to be carrying on us. You know, I really don't think we're going to be using the Sabbath slugs because uh, it seems like they're just more accurate. It doesn't say anything about damage. These ones say armor piercing and accuracy, so I feel like those are more powerful. So let's just replace the Sabbath with those, and we'll keep a healthy uh, amount of normal ammo just for any basic enemies that might come our way. And you know what? I feel like maybe we should take some more uh, meds with us as well. So let's do that. All right, back down to the production tech. Hopefully we've uh, exhausted the enemies down here. We're not gonna have to deal with any more ridiculousness like that. And we could just mine our resources here in peace. All right, production tech is ours. Let's get some iron scrap metal while we're here and head on up to the next area, I guess. One of the other triangles. All right, so wait here at number 13. Let's go ahead and move on to number 16 and we can get the next level of production tech. We got 10 minutes left, so let's just uh, travel on the surface and head over there. All right, we are surfacing. There's already three enemies right here. Uh, oh, we might actually run that guy over. We're gonna run him over. Go, go, go. Oh, I think we missed him. He's right outside our drill ship. All right, you know what? Let's get prepared. Let's get prepared here. We need to prepare for battle as soon as we open up. All right, where are you at? Where are you at? Come at me. Come at, um. Ah, ah, ah. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they were back there. Okay, they're dead now. All right, so I think what we can do before we get this other tech, I think we can actually start researching the uh, next tier. We're just going to open up our research module here, and there we go. So we got the advanced production tech, and now we are researching the uh, production tech while we go get the other tech that we also need to research, which is going to take some time. Okay, so where are we going? Research tech. Is that where we're near? Research tech, yes. Yeah, so we're just going to go up there, get the research tech. Hopefully, it's not going to be too flooded with uh, difficult enemies. And we can kind of, I want to just be able to take them out one by one. None of this getting swarmed by four at the same time with no ability to really hide. No coal and drill ship. What is this? No, no. What? I just got coal in the last episode. Where's the coal at? You know what? Let's get the research tech first. Then we'll worry about the coal. Maybe. Drill ship has no coal. Without coal, power plants won't generate energy. Mine the coal in the beach areas. Okay. All right. We'll worry about the, oh boy. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, here comes a bunch of them. All right, go to the, the tough ammo. Uh, uh, there's one. Mm, mm. Get the weak enemies first. All right, there we go. Woo! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Who's that? No, no, stop it. Stop it. You stop. Leave me alone. 
Let me take your tech. Let me just mind my own business by invading your business, okay? And you mind your own business by just not preventing me from invading your business. I don't feel so good about what I've been doing anymore. Let's go get some coal. Wait, no, let's go drop off the stuff at our uh, ship and then we'll get some coal. Ooh, actually, oh, that's really convenient. We can go over to, we can travel over here, which is closer to the next piece of tech and closer to coal at the same time. Excellent. All right, so we get to go to number 17. We have six minutes left. I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and travel. And uh, while we're here, we'll clear out our inventory. We got the advanced. Uh oh, oh, can we not? Oh, we have to go find an actual uh, empty inventory. Yeah, once you go underground, you can't access your entirety of your online storage because your storage is no longer online. So you have to manually go and deposit it into the empty storage itself. All right, we're here. Let's head. Oh, no, 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 no. You get away. You get away. Okay, there we go. We're here. Let's head down to the beach first and then we'll get the refinery tech. All right, we got some coal. This will get us back up and running. And hopefully, I don't know how much coal, I actually don't really know how much coal our ship uses like per minute or per unit of time. So I don't know how much coal is sufficient to last us up to the next area, but I'm gonna find whatever I can. And was that really it? I think that may have been, oh no, there's some up there, okay. All right, inventory is full with a ton of coal here. So let's head on back and hope that this will uh, hold us over. All right, here we are. Coal, 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 coal. Continue on your research. How are we doing, by the way, on the research? That is only 20%. That's, this stuff's going to take a while. This stuff's definitely going to take a while. All right, hopefully we can get to the refinery tech uh, quick enough before the two minutes are up. Oh, well, let's get... I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to uh, get our... Wait, how come it's not working? There we go. I'm going to get our uh, more powerful ammo out just in preparation for this area because the last couple times... We were kind of caught off guard. And of course, now there's nobody here. Oh, okay. Are they all running away because of uh, the eruption happening? Ooh, we got some crystal there. I think we're okay on resources for the most part, actually. But you know what? I'll just pick up some of the, I got a minute and 40. I'm gonna pick up some of this iron scrap metal and then we're gonna head back. All right, quest finish, radio contact. Research and install advanced tech. Already on it. All right, this is going to take a while. So we're just going to let that research go underground. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, 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 no, I got more important things right now. I could go underground or my ship could kill things for me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're actually a lot closer than I thought I was. Okay, 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 go down, go down. I hope I didn't do that too late. It takes like 30 seconds to go underground or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how long it actually takes. Let's uh, head to the periscope and witness how close this is. Seven, six, keep going. Five, go, go, go. Four, three, two, one. We're underground? Don't die. Please don't die. Don't die. I think we're okay, right? We're kind of in the transition there. I don't really know what to expect. Stay under. Okay, that's a good sign. It's telling me to stay underground, which implies I'm underground already. Yes, eruption is over. Then let us surface. All right, go up. And actually, I like the area. I like this, uh, where were we? Number 17? Yes, I like number 17. There wasn't a lot of enemy activity, so that means that we can research in peace. Here we go. Coming on back up out of the ground. And yeah, this stuff's gonna take a while. We have to research three of them. The first one isn't even done yet. So we might have to, uh, we might have to do a quick cut over to uh, the future. All right, we're up on the surface and now the wait begins. It's exciting stuff here. Yeah, definitely gonna have to cut this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got two minutes left. We have finished researching all the things. Our next quest is to radio contact the captain. But first I've made some adjustments to the layout of our ship that I think is making us much more defensible, much more efficient. So first things first, I added a tier two uh, coal plant to add some more power to allow for these things. So what I've done is I've added a turret to the middle here. So once I get a tier three refinery right here in front of me or research, then I'm actually gonna put it right in the middle on this side. So we'll basically have tier three, tier three, tier three. And that way I can have a turret in the middle of my ship here plus a turret in the middle of my ship here. So if I get attacked from either side in the middle, there will be turrets. Also what I've done is I've replaced some of the storage in the back here. 
So now I have a turret at the very, very back end of my ship on either side. And the reason being is that as I was researching this stuff, I kept getting attacked from right in the rear here. And this turret couldn't actually hit the guy because he was behind the corner of my ship. More over towards this side. So now I have two turrets on either side. So no matter which side they approach from, I should be able to shoot them from the back. And then if we go all the way up to the front here... You can see I've got a turret at the very front on that side, and I also have a turret over here. So no matter if we get attacked from the front, the back, or the sides, there is a turret covering those areas. All right, and while we're going down, we can hopefully contact the captain. Upgrade drill ship movement T3. Before we get into area three, we need to have... We, need, we still have to upgrade the drill ship's movement systems. So we need to install upgrades. Drill three, hull three, tracks three. Okay, how do we do that? All right, let's go to production. Um, what is it? Upgrade? Here we go. Oh, whoa! Four? I didn't think that there was four. There's a level four? What? I thought there was only three. Okay, that's news to me. That is news to me. So we need iron frame crystal. Iron frame... Cr oh, no, we don't need uh, three. We don't need... We already got hull three from loot, actually. So we need iron frame crystal and we need iron gear crystal. So we got plenty of iron frames and I think we have, I think we have all of that. So let's go back up to the surface and I think we can just wait for the upgrades. All right, this is going well. I think we are pretty well prepared. All right, modules are opening. Now let's see what we can do. Uh, upgrade, drill and tracks are upgradable. Let's do the drill first. This is gonna take a little while. What do we need for this stuff? Titan bolts, Titan plates, wow. I guess, oh, upgrade it. That allows us to travel into the volcano itself. So inside the volcano is actually a level four. In the uh, pre-alpha version that we played, uh, level three included Lava Source 3 and the inside of the volcano. So now they've se segregated it into its own level, which makes a lot of sense to me. So we've already manufactured hull three upgrades. So you know what? Let's just do that right now. Upgrade. Oh, we already did. We already got the hull three upgrade. So yeah, now it's just a matter of installing this stuff. Excellent. All right, this is just about done. And then after this is done, we can then research the tracks. So let's not do it too soon though. Otherwise we'll override this and that'd be terrible. All right, 100, there we go. Now let's queue up the tracks. And then while that is going, we can install Mr. Drill onto Mr. Drill ship. All right, one more to go. And then we're breaking into area three where I do not know what to expect as far as enemies go. So I'm just gonna keep the, uh, the armor piercing slugs or gonna be my default now going into area three. All right, it is done. Tracks are ready. We have quest finish for the level three gear to go into area three. Let's talk to the captain, see what he says. Travel to area three and mine. We are getting closer to the final destination. Reach area three and gather materials specific for this region. We must have 20 titanium and 20 diamond ore in the drill ship. Let's accept the quest. Travel to 23 to 26. All right, let's see. So any of these areas, let's go... Uh, I don't know. Let's go 26. Let's go right in the heart of the land here. There we go. All the way to 26. We got nine minutes. Let's just travel on the sur or to the surface, rather. All right. So in the meantime, what I actually did was I got a whole bunch, like a whole bunch of, uh, what do you call it? There you go. Yeah, a whole bunch of coal. I think I have 300 plus coal. So we should be good for the rest of the game, I presume. I don't really know, but I am presuming. Oh, we're still traveling underground. I'm getting nervous. This is going to be our first look. Our first look at Area 3. I don't know what kind of enemies to expect. I don't know the density of enemies. Blue. We've we've seen red, green, and blue for enemies. Oh, we're getting here. I don't know if there's going to be another color that is going to be even tougher. It might take four shots with the green slugs. I don't know what to expect here. Oh, here we are. I don't see anybody around just yet. All right. This might be a low-key area. I hope we're gonna be okay. I really hope we're gonna be okay. All right, first step out into area three. We are right in the middle of it. So let's take a look. We got uh, Titan ore up there. We got diamond ore down there. Titan ore is closer. Let's go for the uh, closer material first. I mean, area three seems fine so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and start mining, I guess. We need 20, how much we got? 15, 20, we're good. We are excellent. All right, now I guess we'll just head straight over. Oh, we'll get some more while we're here. Just stock up a little bit. Then we'll head over to the diamond ore. I'm really surprised right now. 
I'm not seeing any enemies yet. I don't know. I, I don't want to let my guard down, though. Oh, there's a town down there. That's where things might get a little bit shaky. Uh, I'm not hearing any attacks on my drill ship. Things seem too quiet. Too quiet in Area 3. The birds are chirping. The wind is howling. There's a lava uh, pool here. Where are they? All right, what is this? Is this, uh, is this iron? What is it? It's not even telling me what that is. It doesn't even have a name. What kind of scrap is it? You know, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Ooh, here we go, diamond ore. Check it out. Why doesn't this have a name? Wait, it probably has a name in my inventory. Titanium scrap metal. I knew it was gonna be something new. Okay, um, I see... Oh, I thought that was an enemy right there. The, like, the blurriness. I see no enemies. I feel like it's lulling me into a false sense of safety. Oh, I need to... You know, I'm going to get rid of this titanium scrap because our main quest right now is diamond and titanium ore. All right, I'm still seeing zero life. Although the cogs probably aren't life in and of themselves if they're actually robots. So that's not really saying much, is it? All right, so I guess I'm just going to keep mining this raw diamond. And what I'm actually going to do, we're full here, but I'm just going to get rid of my standard ammo. So I have over a hundred of it back at the ship and I'm not going to be using it here in area three because we're going to have some tough enemies, I'm assuming. So let's just make room for more diamonds, more titanium and get back. All right. And we are pretty much full up. So let's head on back to the drill ship and have some fun. All right. We're back at the drill ship. We're depositing all of our ore that we've gotten. Quest is finished. What's the captain going to say now? Upgrade T3 ship's core and engine. All right, we're running low on drill ship slot capacity. Upgrade the ship's core and engine to increase your production possibilities. All right, core is first. We learned that last time. All right, so make a core. We need Titan plates and diamonds. So go to components, Titan plates. We need titanium ingots. So that we need to do at the refinery. So for titanium ingots, we need refinery tier three open. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy and begin crafting a bunch of titanium ingots. As many as we can. Oh, we're going to need some diamonds, actually. Oh, this stuff takes some time as well. All right, do we need both? All right, well, we need some titan plates, right? Titan plates and diamond. Well, let's make some titan plates first. All right, I think that's good enough for the plates for now. And now let's uh, start processing some diamonds. And as soon as that diamond comes in, we should be able to upgrade. One diamond. Just need one diamond. Come on. Come on. Make it. Make it. Make it. There we go. Drill ship core three is now processing. What do we need for engine? Also diamond. We have some diamonds processing as we speak. Okay. We're going to be good. Once our core three upgrade gets produced. Ooh, that is taking a long time. Then we're going to have to produce engine upgrade three. And then we will be good to go for, I think, going into the lava source and fighting the cogs and deactivating the next laser drill ship. All right, so we have just over a minute left before this volcano erupts. It's probably going to take longer than that to produce this core stuff. But uh, I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. If you guys want to see the difficulty of the enemies in Lava Source 3, you're going to have to stick around for the next episode. So make sure you are subscribed. This was an action-packed episode as it was just in Area 2. I am really not looking forward to and looking forward to at the same time finding out how difficult the Lava Source is going to be to deactivate. Because Area 2 was uh, gave us quite the run for our money. Area 3, I don't know what to expect. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Let me know if you have any tips going into Area 3. Or Lava Source 3, rather. We're already in Area 3, and it's a cakewalk so far. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.